we have this space, what can we and do? we've really been thinking we'd like to do something with it. You know, right now it's not really used, it's just sitting there. We really do want to have a product out of this. The kids would even be able to come up with, you know, the things that are going to be involved with how we might decide what to actually do. The fourth graders are going to be doing a project about architecture and planning. We talked about taking a field trip to the courtyards to take notes, sketch, write some, write some impressions. I'm doing a survey with staff and students in the school. Talk yes. about something fun. The kids will understand some of these architectural <coughs> positive things. Students can also keep a journal as they work through the project. I want bird feeders on the windows. Okay. But where they could do reading under the tree. Other than the playground, there's nowhere to walk around the school. I'm having an area where kids can go before school. Keeping the trees, add maybe some more windows if we can. Uh, to, a, to perhaps a raised stage for performances. The community could have evening things in here. I'd almost want them to do like what we did where we sketched first. It's not like we're trying to turn them all into little architects. No, right. But they're all sketching and resketching their own ideas. You introduce the kids to um, using the tools, right. like the right. timeline, right. Yes. The, the brainstorming. The okay, are so this thinking? is Friday, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to jump right into this. Can someone define architecture for me? A work of design. A work of design, very good. Somebody that would draw out the plans for a building, very good. Architecture is the art, you talked about art, but it's also the science of designing and constructing buildings. Okay, I want there to be a, a big foam pit in the middle, and then a jump from roof to roof. A tree. And benches and some lights. Mm -hmm. On the top of it, there could be glass. So then, you, when you look at the sky. Huh? What we're going to do today is called a design crit. You need to present your designs to the rest of your fellow classmates. I have a swimming pool, a hot tub, a kiddie pool, a game room. Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> I have three trees and a bird bath, a sidewalk, a movie, a game store like Dalton, a big pool, a fence when you come in, two gardens in the corners. And this is my courtyard drawing. All the fat gray lines are um, sidewalks or paths. There's some that are straight, there are bike paths, there's concrete, there's all kinds of paths. I made a totem pole where the sewer used to be. A reading tree so kids can read under it. I made a girls and boys bathroom. And here's a little pond with fish in it. And here's a submarine so that um, like we wanted to find out about the fish you go in it. The discovery deck. And the teachers would go at teachers' cave and they could teach the students. My example over there is how it is now. You guys can make it however you want to. Have two more right here. This is. We're working. We're working on going around the pen. Sit here. Yeah. yeah. We got 100. Like, Which way? The dark on one side. Green paint on me? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make them look pretty for Mr. Schmidt. So, where do you come out of the paintbrush? Thor, you're talking about the reflection ponds. Is it as big as this room? It's five inches tall. How tall is that in real life? We'd like to welcome all the architects that are here from all over the country and um, that are going to be listening to your presentations. And I just want to acknowledge all the very, very hard work that the students have done. Um, they've learned a lot about architecture. These are the garbage cans. This one is recyclables. Two red bikes here. They don't have to ruin the grass. We did um, tables because we thought kids would like to sit down and then we had benches. And we also had garbage cans. Four square, because in the playground, 
sometimes there's too many people and kids don't want to wait in line. Um, we have tables, so like, if you uh, if somebody wants to eat lunch outside. We also put logs on each side of one of the chess tables for people to sit on while they were playing chess. This is the pond where people can go swimming. I'm going to talk about the waterfall made out of Lake Superior rocks. <laughs> we put this pond here because, like, um, if like birds would want or ducks would want to like swim in here, there is concrete under the deck, so you can take out the tables in here. It has all kinds of medicines, which if you crush them, you could use them. There's a couple of reasons why we've done this project. Um, the first is we have these great courtyards that are not being used, and we really want to come up with some real new ways to use these courtyards. The second reason is because this was a great project-based learning um, project that you can see a lot of the learning that the kids did. I've got about 10 architects from all over the country, and they're going to work on this courtyard. They're going to take your ideas, and they're going to add some of their own ideas. And tomorrow in the music room, they're going to present to you. How would you make your sidewalk? I We're here today to, uh, in response to what you guys did yesterday. What you did was an awesome thing. And you took a project and you worked together on it as a team and you came up with solutions and ideas. What about some of the things that were in there? Some of the things that you thought were important to put in there? Benches and tables. Pathways. Pathways. Garbage cans. Garbage cans, right. We took your ideas, we made notes, we tried to come up with, with a way to, to integrate. You know what integrate means? To put it all together so that, so that your ideas could be integrated or put together with things that, that, uh, that architects may think of in how to use stuff. In this one we actually have a path, actually it's over here. We have a path that runs in and out just like you have a path. How the environment outside helps you do things inside. Well, if you put these out to scale, which you all have already talked about, and measuring in scale, you'll find out that these are big enough for you to be the chess pieces. Cool. We also see three four square cores. And when the ice melts where the four squares in the chess tables are, we can make a stream for all the water to go through and make it into a pond. So what we were developing was what we're going to call the science and the arts and sciences courtyard on one side, and on the other side was going to be the more fine arts courtyard over there. So we added a hallway across the to connect the two links together, which works with what you guys said a lot. We heard about comments about making a path through the courtyard. Which wall was crossed? Oh. <laughs> 